Hello shooters, my name is James Toll and welcome back to the American Trigger Sports Network. We are here in San Antonio, Texas for the 2010 Sporting Clays Championship and already we have been met with three significant weather fronts that have impacted the scores so far and they have been fog, wind and rain. And I want to tell you a little bit about what's taken place here yesterday. Yesterday morning on the first rotation of FETAS, it's difficult on a good day, much less a day when the visibility is so poor that you cannot see the fast moving targets that they had waiting for them that morning. So where the normal frustrations would occur on FETAS field, it rose to anger and disappointment in many cases. Going on from there, we also had a lot of wind, and, and when I say a lot of wind, I mean a lot of wind. We're talking about gale winds that were up to like 40 knots and probably average 25 to 30. This affected everyone on every single course. I'm going to take you over here in a little bit and I'm going to show you some scores. You're going to be pretty surprised at what you see. And for you shooters who are used to a climate that is a little more reasonable, some of the heat and the salt running in your eyes, that did occur also, and I know it affected your scores. So let's go over to the scoreboard now and I'll show you what took place. Okay shooters, we're over here. I'm looking at the main event. We're looking at the master class shooters. Now when Anthony Matteries Jr. shoots a 72 on the yellow course, you know that there was a lot that had a lot of influence on the way he was shooting, and that was due to the wind. Brandon Powell came in with a 72 after him. Bobby Fowler came in with a 71. John Kruger came in with a 71. Mike Wilgus with a 71. Uh, let's see some other names here. Uh, Gavin Miles shot a 70. Uh, Kevin DeMichel shot a 69. Brad Kidd shot a 69. Jason Burroughs a 68. Wendell Cherry a 68. Pat Lesky, 68. Bill McGuire, 68. Scott Robertson, 68. And Gary Greenway came in with a 67. And that was the yellow course yesterday. So we're going to move down a little bit here. I'm going to tell you what took place on the, let's go to the next class, double, uh, double A class. So right now is being led by Kerry Skaggs, who shot a 72. And John Lindsay was right right behind him with a 61. John's a good friend of ours. And let's see, uh, okay, let's go over to the A class. A class right now is being led by Joshua LaField with a 60. And let's see if we recognize any other shooters in there. I don't recognize shooters that I know in there. Let's go to the B class. B class right now is being led by P.D. Parker with a 58. C class is being led by Colton Bend Bendel, a 58. Um, D class is being led by Dwayne Kelly with a 58 as well. E class is being led by David Botkin at, with a score of 30. So we're going to move around here and I'm going to find the FETAS score for you, which is on the other side, of course. We'll be right back. Okay, shooters, we're here at the five stand results. And the five stand re results right now are probably pretty exciting news here for you. Pat Lesky with a 94. Andy Duffy with a 91. Anthony Matteris Jr. with a 91. Todd Simmons with a 91. Dan Carlisle with a 90. Zach Keenbaum with a 90. Joseph Carey with an 89. As I go down that list, there's a lot of names in there that are pretty they did shoot during that windy, windy day. As a matter of fact, Wendell Cherry came in with an 83. Brad Kidd came in with an 81. Now let's find the FETAS scores for you. Okay, shooters, we're here at the K-Cup, and uh, this comes as no great surprise to many of you, but Brandon Powell, <laughs> 95, Gebin Miles, 94, Malcolm Parker, 94, Diego Duarte, 93, Andy Duffy, 91, Gary Greenway, nine, a lot of 91s, 91, Curtis Malden, 91, Scott Robinson, 91. Curtis Lessel was a 90. 
Uh, Joey Bolton in 89. Uh, Wendell Cherry in 89. There was a lot of 89 scores in here by people you know. Um, Tony Rivera, 89. And his brother, Art Rivera, also shot in 89. Okay, we're still looking for feed tests. Let's go find them. Okay. Okay, here we are at the FETAS scoreboard, and it comes as no surprise to many of us. We had the opportunity of interviewing Diego Duarte out there as he was just finishing Parkour 1, and he's still holding the number one spot in the master class, and he shot a 90 on a very, very difficult course. Right behind him, Scott Robertson with an 88, uh, Will Fennell with an 87, uh, John Kruger shot an 83, Andy Duffy shot an 82, Tony Rivera, King of Texas, shot an 82, um, Wendell Cherry shot an 80, Hayward Cunningham, good friend of ours, shot a 79, and let's see, I think uh, Rick Story shot a 74, and there's... That looks like the scoreboard as we see it now in master class in the double A class for FETAS at this point. Uh, Bain Horn is leading with a 77. Mm, in the ladies, Diane Sorrentino, we also spoke to her out there. Wonderful lady. She's a, she wins quite a bit. She's right now, she's leading FETAS lady with a 79. Just behind her, Tina Jewell with a 63. So there's a really a good margin between the two of them at this point. If we look up here at the juniors, Abel Spire, and you'll see many pictures of him throughout the show. Abel, Sm Abel Spire is leading the juniors with an 84. In the veterans, it is William, and I know William, I'm going to pronounce your name wrong, and I apologize because you and I have not met, but William Avi. Okay, that was my best guess. 78. And I think that probably wraps up where we are here on Fee Test today. Gretchen's going to give us a little bit of a weather update. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Gretchen Martin at the National Shooting Complex in San Antonio, Texas, taking a shot at the weather. Shooters, hang on to your hats because it's going to be a windy one. It's the first day of the NSCA Nationals main event and sporting clays will not be the only things flying through the air. With 20 mile per hour winds, don't forget to wear your eyes and ears, even off the range, to protect yourself from flying debris. But leave your coats at home because the day promises to remain warm with partly cloudy skies and an 80 degree high. The evening clears up, hovering in the mid 60s, with a 54 degree low and sunny skies to look forward to on Friday. Until then, I'm Gretchen Martin, keeping you on target with the day's weather.